Hello everyone. Inspired by a customer meeting that I had last week, today I wanted to post a few not so common tips and tricks for the horizontal target conditional subassembly in Civil 3D. So let's get started. Quick tour of the drawing. Bottom left, I have an alignment in blue. I have two offset polylines, one at 33 foot to the right and the next at 63. Here's the section view at this sample line and here's my assembly. I'm going to go to the conditional tab on the tool palette and we're going to select conditional horizontal target. I want to check the properties before I place it. Notice the default is target found. There's a target not found option and here's the maximum distance which it will try to find my target. So now I'm just going to place that here, leave it as default and escape. So the first tip is I don't have to have the opposite of what I place. So in other words, I can have a target found without a target not found or vice versa. So let's keep going. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and place a lane on the end of this target so that uh, when I test, I can tell if this works easily. So I'm going to go back to the lane and I'm going to just place that on the end. Another lane, super AOR and hit escape. Now I will go ahead and select this lane, go to properties. I'm just going to call this outside lane so I can find it easy when I do targeting. So my name is ready. Next thing we're going to address is this distance. And this takes us to tip number two. This distance starting from zero going out to almost 10,000 feet does not actually start from this edge of the road or 12 feet. It actually starts back from the center line. So let's test and prove that. I'm going to go into the conditional target. And I'm going to set the maximum distance to 30 feet. So at 30 feet, if I add 30 to 12, that would take me out to 42 feet, which is well beyond the 33 feet where the offset target is sitting. So if it was indeed starting from the 12 foot offset, that would be plenty of distance to catch that. So let's go into the corridor properties, set all targets. You can see our lane outside, I'm sorry, our lane super elevation AR on the right. And here is our target offset, conditional horizontal target. I'm going to select that, select it from the drawing, and we're going to select the closest polyline. Hit OK, and then OK. And now we're going to rebuild. And you can see nothing happens in section view. Again, back to tip number two. This distance starts at the zero or the center line and looks outward. So let's make sure that works. If I go back to the conditional, we'll change this now to 40 because remember we're at 33. So at 40, that should work. All I have to do now is rebuild the corridor. And now you can see it places the next lane on the end showing that our target was indeed found and passed the test. So that's tip number two. Now we're ready for tip number three. And tip number three is about what if I want to use a offset target for my subassembly and also use a conditional target and to have those be the same element, line, polyline, whatever. So let's test that. I'm going to go into my corridor properties, go into set targets. Here's our lane super AOR on the right. I'm going to actually select from the drawing the same exact polyline. OK. And so before I hit OK, what I'm doing here is I'm saying, OK, stretch the width of this lane out to meet that polyline at 33 feet. And then at the same time, since that target would be found, go ahead and place whatever I have in the target found category. So I'll hit OK to rebuild. Notice here we go out to 33 and then we still find the target even though the target was used to place this end of this lane and stretch the lane. It was also used to say are you found at that location and it was and it went ahead and placed the next. So that's tip number three. Now our last tip, tip number four, is about knowing what we just learned about these offset distances. How could we reorder this a bit? So if you think about it, since this is looking from the center line, it really doesn't matter where this is located. 
it could actually be placed before the lane. So let's see how that works. So I remove those lanes. Now I'm going to leave my target. So now I'll add my first lane. And my second lane, which I'll change the name of this lane. Go to Cordal Properties, set all targets. We're going to set the, the polyline still good for the conditional. I'm going to go to my lane super AOR on the right, select the same polyline. Okay, okay, rebuild. And notice we're right back with the same results as we had before. So knowing the way that distance work in tip number three gives you a little bit of flexibility on where you place this particular target. So my goal today was to show some quick, not so common tips and tricks for these horizontal target conditionals. I hope it's been beneficial. Have a great day.